Devin White is now a Philadelphia Eagle, as is CJ, as is Bryce Huff. They, they lost Hassan Reddick because they didn't want to pay him huge money, but they traded him, got a draft pick back, a third rounder. But they went and got Bryce Huff from the Jets. He was their leading sacker with 10. So I, I don't know. That sounds pretty good to me. So what have we done? We signed two players in free agency. The immortal Eric Kendricks, not exactly a household name at linebacker, although he did play for our new coordinator, Mike Zimmer, at Minnesota. We, we gave him all of $3 million. And we signed Royce Freeman. I mean, we got him. We went out and got Royce Freeman and... I would say that would put us back over the top against Philadelphia, right? Wait a second. Philly's quarterback is Jalen Hurts, and he's locked up on a big long-term deal that pays him $252 million. It's about $40 million a year. I got to tell you, Jalen Hurts is better than Dak Prescott. And still, I'm not sure what Jerry Jones is doing with Dak Prescott because some days I think he's going to let him play out his deal this year and, and eat the $60 million in dead cap money next year. Or he could go ahead and extend him for four or five more years, which would soften his impact against the cap with prorated money. But why would you throw good money after bad with a Dak Prescott who's 2-5 and five in the postseason? Why would you do that? I don't know. But we haven't done anything with Dak. We haven't done anything with CeeDee Lamb. And just watch. He'll be a training camp holdout because he should be. Because he turned into, to me, the most productive wide receiver in all of football last year. And the Cowboys still haven't re-upped with him as he enters into his fifth and final year of his rookie deal. Still haven't done anything with him. He's going to be a training camp holdout while the Eagles will all be in training camp. Happy campers. Mike is going to want his money, but has he lived up? No, he hasn't. So Jerry and Stephen Jones keep saying, we have to hold our money back to pay our big three. You do? Your, your big three was down 27 to nothing before halftime of a home playoff game against the youngest team in pro football. You, what, you have to do what? Hold your money back? And I'm thinking, wait a second. Do the Eagles have a salary cap five times the size of Dallas's? I think they do. They must because all they do is spend money. We have to hold our money back to, to pay players who've done nothing for us except last year go to San Francisco and lose 42 to 10, go to Arizona and lose 28 to 16, go to Buffalo and lose 31 to 10. 27 to nothing? 48 to 16 early in the fourth quarter against Green Bay? Are you kidding? As we speak right here, right now, the Eagles are clearly, clearly far and away runaway favorites to win the NFC East. It's over. It's done. They are going to win the NFC East. Clearly, my Dallas Cowboys are not a playoff team as we speak. And I don't think the draft will make them a playoff team as we speak. They're going to miss the playoffs next year because Jerry just builds through the draft. It's what Jerry can keep his hands on because he can take credit for the draft picks because he has final say in the draft. And they have drafted very well. But now they're in the spot where they need to draft five new starters who will be instant impact rookie starters. Seriously? I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.